Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having issues with this. It doesn't want to screen. Okay. Let me... There we go. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's so fucking loud. All right, so yeah, that's just really loud. Let's go have these and try that. There we go. <sighs> yeah, it wouldn't be a screen stream without technical difficulties, of course. Okay. We're going. Everything's fine. Way to go, Strix! Ooh. I have a gun. Great job out there! <laughs> yeah, no, this Call of Duty game is crazy. Gonna be the hardest part is interacting with the fucking doors. Yeah. Door won't open. as hell. Hold down R to check how many bullets you've got. But oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, and drinking water. Hold tab to see how bad it is. Oh no! Okay. Anything in here to help? Ah! Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, he called you a dork, Strix. I'm sorry. You just picked up an item that can be used for crafting. Pick up other cloth piece and press tab to access your inventory page and combine the two cloth items to craft a bandage. They went... 
in an interesting direction with this. Is he just- hold on. We just look at our hands? Oh, let me just- I'm in my inventory, let me- Hold on, let me check my pockets? What's in my pockets? What? <laughs> yep, that's blood! <laughs> like, I understand it, but it is a very silly system. <laughs> Oh god. Hmm. Oh no, he broke the jar of tomato sauce he had in his pocket. <laughs> okay, what do I craft? Oh look, I made a bandage. Hold down this to ready an item and then this to use it. Where'd this whole ass bandage come from? I just had two cloths. Oh, the blood's gone! The blood's gone! Uh, I'm just using my hydro plants. Uh, hi, but WPG, how are you? Oh, it's off. Somebody left a hat. No? Okay. Well, where's the fucking saw that I threw? Oh, it disappeared? That's cool. Oh, a grenade! How do I... my gun back out. That seems like a lot. Can I? Okay, I can assign hotkeys. There we go. That'll be easier. Uh, able to get first on stood stream. Nice! Way to go. I don't think you're supposed to explode things inside. Well, you're not my real dad, so... Another bullet. Now I have two bullets. Yeah, I don't even use that hand. I just get to stare at it. Am I injured? What's in my pockets? <laughs> These naked monsters are gonna get fucked. You're a one-man army. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome, I guess. I have to blow this up. Okay. Oh, maybe I... I shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna call Papa BB and tattle on you. No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is my name Henri? I'm dying! I'm dying of gas! It is so fast, fast! We're dying on the We make it out of this hell together. Thank you. We're nearly there. Is this my boyfriend? Roll, my friend. 
There you have it, huh? Ah. Thank you for translating, sheep. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Okay. I'm just walking through some mud, I guess. There's a light over there. Is that a fire, maybe? Something happened here. <laughs> yes. Yes, we think alike. Like we're related or something. <gasps> it's me. Here, drink this. Then I'm going to get you out of here. He saved me, so I'm gonna save him. Yes, Subut weird. Oh, it's okay. I have two pieces of clock. I'll get you back to safety. Just hold on to me. Mind me just carrying my boyfriend out of this weird uh, area. Oh no! We'll be fine. We're gonna be totally fine. Oh, maybe we're not gonna be fine. <laughs> Sheep, have you seen those signs that say, um, we're it's like we're suking dick in German and it means like we're hiring or something, but it looks like we're sucking dick. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, they're all upset because I, I shot their balls off. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like that, sheep, yeah. It's really funny. Because <laughs> they're just everywhere. Because people are hiring, but it just looks like everybody in Germany is sucking a lot of dick. Oh. Where am I? What's going on? There's a lot of blood in here. I mean, they're doing that too. <laughs> My progress has been saved. All notes that you pick up can be found in the notes tab of your inventory. You can go directly to the picked up note by pressing tab while the icon is flashing. I've got a bandage on. My head is dirty. Um, Amnesia cause. Soldat Clement. Am Amnesia is the name of the game. Uh, Soldat Clement was admitted to medical treatment following the events of 9 July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Uh, patient remains in weak coma state, will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events, had trouble recalling even his own name. Uh, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor if status is not improved in a week's time. Recommend transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Jin Jasinski. I didn't know balls were like lizard tails. 
And that is a very good point, Greg. I did I did shoot Nazis in uh, World War Two. I did not shoot Germans in World War One. So maybe maybe their balls did grow back. Okay, so I have amnesia. I was in a little, a teeny little coma after what happened with my, uh, my boyfriend. I would love if that would go away. There, thank you. Okay. It's, um, it's fucking dark, y'all. This is the answer to my prayers. Hell yeah, flashlight. Hold down F to charge the flashlight, but be careful not to make too much noise. Um. Why shouldn't I make noise? They grow back when you go backwards in time. Don't listen to me. Uh. Maybe they hate you because they're the fathers of the people you shot and they have a weird inkling about you. Maybe. Okay. I is this a real thing? Are there actual flashlights like this? 9th of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. Damn. This That's thing deep. I've done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating We're queer! repulses me. Okay. I have lizards and fun fact, not all lizards tails grow back, only some species. I did not know that. Gotta check for other shit. Oh, that's... I can't. I can't open that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's locked. In here, foods. You know, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not liking these holes or that blood. I have a, a bad feeling about these holes. Oh, there's something down there. I have gas. <laughs> in the uh, game, not in real life. I not. I don't have the toots. Hi, QE! Welcome on in! How are you? Oh, it's the French flag. I am. Hello? I was the last one. Oh, you're smoking. I thought his whole body was just like giving off smoke, and I was like, what? What is happening? But he's smoking a cigarette. He came right out of the sun. Oh, very hungry, waiting for dinner to arrive. What'd you order? Rat fucking officers ran and blew the exit behind them. You want to escape? You need to blow it back open. I'm gonna need to turn it up a little bit. This is a lot quieter than our previous scene. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah. And a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Get and, them. Okay, and a handle. And you can make it out. Okay. Oh, shit. That thing, it's coming for me. What? Here, take this. Finish me off. 
Please. I want to die at the hands of a brother soldier, not that monster. Okay. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't. I'm so sorry. I'll just stay in the pantry. I'll just... I'll just stay in the pantry. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this fucking flashlight. It's... it's stressful. Probably on purpose. He got dragged into this hole in the wall by the monster, Sparkle. Okay, I uh, I need dynamite and a handle. Oh shit. Locked, okay. Better or worse than rationing oil? Uh, very good point. Um. Uh. That didn't do shit. This isn't on. I'm very scared right now. Like. Whew. I know that's not going to help, but it makes me feel better right now. <sighs> okay. Uh, it's giving me Cloverfield vibes. That movie fucked me up. The one where they're in the bunker together? Um, I wonder how long these bunkers took to build. Uh, I wonder what they did with them after the war was over. Good question. I don't know. Yes, that one. Thank you, sheep. Just, hold on. I want the... Okay. When processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Nothing on the back. Hi, Penny! What's up, little lady? Oh, he's a good girl. Oh, he's the best girl. Uh, no, the one in the city and the monster comes to New York. Oh, okay, so the original, yeah. Yeah, that movie is scary. Very found footage. You don't really see the monster. They did a good job on that one. Yeah, you got the name right. Penny is... Yeah, she is kind of looking extra fluffy today. What'd you do? Tell us your secret. Is it cat spit? I think it's cat spit. <coughs> Okay. Oh, perfect timing. Okay. Um so we've got an ad coming up. It's our it's time for our regularly scheduled capitalism. 
Um, uh, we do ads once an hour so that nobody gets any pre-rolls or anything. You're not going to miss any gameplay. We're going to go over to a, uh, a BRB screen. Um, so, you enjoy some clips if you're subbed, ads if you're not, and we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> hey, Spectre! Welcome on in! Thank you so much for the biddies. I'll be right back. Get ready, bitches! Alright, so V. Baptiste doesn't have anything <laughs> on their thing. Ah. Oh, storage. I don't know what I need to do with that fuel, so yeah, I'll just ma'am, ma'am. You're moving the screen. Oh, I got a map! Mammoth bunker updated with objectives and details as you progress. Penny! Penny! Quit moving my screen! I can't see it. If you move it. Bongo la. Bongo cha cha cha. He's being a little butt. <laughs> She's pawing at the screen. What's this? A flare. Okay. Bubbles for Penny. She should kill that monster. I think she could. She's strong. She's fierce. Are there monsters in this game, or is the real monster the war? I think you're right, Chief. Okay. Let's get back to it. Oh. Oh! Cool. Okay. The real monster is always capitalism. I agree. Yeah, I, the real monster is this fucking flashlight. Oh yeah, pain in my butt. I just want to check this room for all things. Um, update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to Father DeRay about this matter. He will provide popper... popper? Proper consecration for the deceased remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal, and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must. Damn. Hey, do you think, um... Have you played Tattletale yet? I haven't seen your 24 spooky scary -a -thon. No, I have not played Tattletale. Um, do you think the monster is just a rat king? Like a bunch of rats all together. <laughs> they got upset when they started burning the bodies, so they turned into a rat king and this is, they're getting their revenge. Oh, nothing in there! They don't like barbecue, clearly. 
Okay, so... It looks like I can go that way. And also maybe this way. Oh no, I need a I need a combo. Okay, so I have to go this way. I'm just gonna do this for a minute. Generator. Okay. Warning! Generator fuel is extremely flammable. You don't say. Uh, do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. <laughs> uh, random, I, I already opened the chest. Uh, that big chest is where, um, I store, I store stuff. It's okay. <laughs> um, does anyone know what that sticker stuff you can put on your counters is called? Thinking about wrapping my desk in it. Uh, no, I don't know what that stuff is called. Contact paper, maybe? Try that. Um, store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately and then dispose of the rags outside the bunker. Why did someone feel the need to, like, were people actually smoking their cigarettes near the fucking flammable shit? Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, vinyl wrap, probably. Power the generator. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. So let me go get the fuel I stored in that chest. It's okay, random. It's gonna be fine. I promise. See, here's the chest, and I'm gonna pull some fuel out of it. Because I put that in there earlier. Can't pick that up, but... Keep on at all times, the fucker hates light. Okay, good to know. So, how do I... Uh, is that it? Okay, yeah, that one's done. Oh, that was all three of them. Okay. Okay, it's almost full. Are there any more down here? What's up, my guy? Q for low. 7821. Okay. Um, how do I start the generator? Like this? Is this a timer for the generator for how long it's on? Okay. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, they seem to have not used that band aid in time. Overcome most obstacles, usually with some brains. Something that might be possible to do, it probably is. Okay.
I don't know what that did. Oh, it turned off the lights. Okay. Uh, how to get the hell out of here? Perfect. I uh, have not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. I'm just going to write this down. Uh, the detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels deeper in hell. Okay, detonator. Roman tunnels. Uh, I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. Well, I just saw you die, so... I hope it wasn't super painful. Uh, objectives will be marked on your maps, and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes list. Okay. Okay. So that's the way out. Arsenal. Let's go to the arsenal, then. Uh, good thing he brought his typewriter down here, right? Sugar pee! Drop him! Okay! Oh no, oh gosh. Watch out, it's a furry creeping down the corridor right towards you to tell you Faye have been subscribed for a year. Watch out, Faye will make you into a furry too. Everyone vote on Bright's official fursona. <laughs> Welcome in, Gaiety. Thank you so much for that 12-month subscription. Can we get some love and hype in chat, please, for Gaiety? That is a whole dang-dang year. Don't go into the fairy ring. <laughs> it's, it's true. Yeah, what do y'all think my persona would be? Would it be a unicorn? Would it be a cat? Who knows? storage. Can't get in there. Oh, but maybe I can do this. It's loud. Oh, look, rats. A bearded dragon. You have a bearded dragon? Oh, Greg, I found your new best friend. Okay. Okay, so I need combos for all these lockers, huh? Okay. Interesting. Dead body. Oh, what do we got here? A Claire. 6205. Okay. I don't 
don't have room. back for that med kit. Um, it's fine. I'm sure I'll be back in here again. Um... Sugar pee! Drop him! Okay! Twitch <laughs> took my unicorn badge. I want it back. Thank you so much for the 25 months, QE! I really appreciate it. Enjoy that uh, unicorn badge. You deserve it. Um, yeah, can we get some love and hype in chat, please, for QE? Thank you. Um, sorry, I have not been paying attention to chat. I got really into this for a second. Okay, um. Da -da 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 -da. Um. Crystal cat unicorn, that sounds great. Long haired brown cat that's really dopey but very sweet and snuggly will sometimes bite. That's, that's what you think my persona would be? Nice. Um. Bethany's persona is that one sloth down at the DMV uh, in the movie Zootopia, played by Kristen Bell. Oh, and the one that just moves. Real slow. <laughs> I have four lizards. I'll tell you when I'm not shitting myself. That's valid. Uh, how's the game so far? Looks great. It's good. Um, they've added some new mechanics for things in this one. Um, so the flashlight, instead of it being like a, a lamp that you have to add um, oil to, uh, you have to just, like, crank it, um, and then, uh, you can only save by lighting lanterns. We have to keep this generator going to keep, like, light around, because the monster hates light. Um, it's pretty good so far. I'm, in I'm enjoying it. I am very scared. Um, so. It's doing its job. Ninth um, of July. Oh, okay. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen, and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty what of something. What have you done, man? And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. I don't know what you've done, and I'm playing you. <laughs> it's okay, just eat your snack. Um, this hand, by the way, is how we check our, like, health. If our hand is covered in blood, that's bad. There's a grenade. Okay. I need a bigger inventory. I'm not happy about the size of my inventory. I will take more bullets, though. these doors so that I can get in and out of here. You know what? I want this to be too... Okay. We're about halfway on the generator. Emergency lockdown. Okay. Oh, I can do that. Okay, I, I need to deal with my inventory situation. I come from? Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Is it here? Why is it so dark in here all of a sudden? Do we need to relight the lamp? Okay. Progress saved. Okay, let me, I'll use the fuel and I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'd prefer the medical kit, honestly. fine. Thank you for that sparkle. Yeah, all you got was one he. <laughs> Hot take, wind up flashlights are why Germans lost. I don't, alright. I mean, he's French, but okay. Um, thank you for the, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it dark? so dark everywhere. Alright, inventory is good. Get that out. Got my flashlight. Whew. Let's grab some more stuff. We're gonna be real careful about all this. That's everything in here that I need. Uh, French aren't good at winning things either. Hey, oh, history burn. <laughs> I am not running at any point in this game unless the monster is directly chasing me. Okay. Um, Put this away in case I need it. It's two, this will be three. <sighs> Can I save again? Thank you. All right, um, arsenal is this way. It's dark down there. Oh, here we go. Of course it's under emergency fucking lockdown. Is that in here? I don't know. We'll do this emergency lockdown over here. I'm just scared. I'm just scared of stuff. Oh god, I gotta put that somewhere where I'm not gonna constantly be accidentally fucking with it. Okay, maybe we don't do that one first. I can't look at my map. My map's over here. Yeah, a little oops. So, okay. The emergency lockdown is for the prison and the soldier's quarter? And I need to go check out the officer quarters for, before I can get in anywhere else. Um, where did I come in through? The pantry, I think? I was in the sick room. Okay. And I went all the way through, like, medical storage, doctor's office, mess hall, kitchen pantry, and now I'm in here. Okay. Cool. Uh, is that a command? Is what a command? 
There's a there's a whoops. Yeah, yeah, I see the red circles. Just gonna lock that for no reason. Ooh, that's fun. To any who find this, Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He's lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee, flee, we must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run, to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here, the demon and our men. His constant refrain, it's getting to me. And that same void of terror, it's also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free of this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it, and I will radio it back to you. Trapped down here with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do. All I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldier quarters. Hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. Okay. Empty bottle. Maybe I can craft something with it. Okay. Whew. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what? That's not good. I, I can't. I can't open that. It's attached to a grenade. realized I ate half a bag of nerds clusters in anxiety and forgot dinner. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Uh, engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical, skeptical of this last point, but they are indeed, they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels we found urns, Latin texts, etc. We'll do our best to preserve some mat materials for posterity. Oh, they fucking broke into these Roman tunnels and stole some shit, and now the monster is like, I'm mad at you. At least that's what it seems like. Anything in here? We'll take it. After a raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014, I would like to hold. Before capture, he ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform, so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe... Once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Ooh, okay. Um, so my LGBTQIA friends, has anyone taken the cover art for Metallica's... I love you. I heard you guys didn't appreciate my head, so here are some more satisfying alternatives. He 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 oh ho 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 mwa ha ha te he he nyuk nyuk nyuk. Chick 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 chick
Subscribe to my LinkedIn for more. Thank you, Sheep, for those biddies and, and for helping Nicole to uh, really showcase the different kinds of laughs she's, laughs she's capable of. I appreciate it. Um, I don't know, Requiem. That's a, that's a Google question. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> so I guess you got to put spaces in between the he's. Otherwise, she just thinks it's one he. That's really weird. how dark it gets in here. Okay. This is also going to be a problem for me, keeping this generator full. This thing runs through gas like nobody's business. So it doesn't really matter what I do in here because it can get in anyway. There isn't a monster, just hallucinations from all the petrol fumes. Kind of seems like it. Why is that bottle making so much noise? I hate it. Okay, I gotta move this. This is gonna make so much noise. something there, bud? Meat? Why can I pick up meat? That's gross. I know it's written in my thing, but I'm gonna write it down here anyway. J Delisle 5239 Oh, okay. I'm now putting into writing what I have reported to both of my immediate superiors. Last evening, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. 
As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am now con quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Oh, great. Uh, tell your boyfriend if he says he got beef that Bright is a vegetarian. She fucking scared him. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I could carry one more item in my inventory. That was the biggest tease. Oh my god, that's so mean. Okay, now we have some light here. Um, Expired meat should not be consumed by soldiers. Better used to attract rodents and other bunker pests can be thrown. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do with this stuff. God. Bottles are for distractions, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> Great. Where are we at? Um, time wise. Ugh, okay, that's not great. I'm going too slow. I need to find more fuel. just in there. Ah, uh, that is not a good idea. Okay. where I was earlier? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I locked this. Of course I did. Oh! I need to move that. Okay. Yes, okay.
Yes, exactly. Your mental health is more important than a video game. It's okay if you gotta take a break. Okay. Oh my goodness. I really don't know what to do. Because these two things over here where I gotta go are booby trapped. I guess I could go this way maybe? This is not good, y'all. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> I'm gonna pee myself. Can't believe you would do this to me. <sighs> that was Sparkle. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, we heard that. Oh my god, thank you for the biddies. Okay. Just save and trigger the trap, see what it does, just thinking aloud. I mean, I could. Okay. I hate this flashlight, I hate it so much. out of time here the generator is gonna go out and I don't have any ideas so we've just got to see what happens when we trigger the trap okay. here we go Here's the first one. Okay. So the grenades do take a second, so that's good. Okay. Oh god, of course it's fucking dark in there. Jesus, that door blew all the way in here? These lights are gonna turn out soon and I'm not looking forward to that. I don't think there's much in here. And all the lights just went out! Oh my fuck. That's nice that there's a red light next to the administration. Okay. So this is where we're at. 
Um, I don't have any fuel left. The lights are out for good. Until I can find more, more fuel. Um... I think I need two grenades. Um. <sighs> okay. Thanks for playing games in the background while I clean the house. It's relaxing for me. Not at all relaxing for you, but it is for me. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's relaxing for you, Gaiety. I I'm I'm here for you. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go trigger the other trap. And it's gonna fucking suck. I need to do this as long as I can. Come on. Somewhere to hide in here, maybe under the desk or the bed. Here's what we're gonna do. No! Under the desk, under the fucking desk. That, uh, that kind of hurt. Just a little bit of blood, I'm fine. Yeah, it's a flesh wound. Is this the area? Okay, I know where I am. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna... I thought I heard it. Uh, nope, I can't do it. I support you from afar. Love your stuff. Uh, my bed not to be filled with piss more. That's totally understandable, Randomus. Um, so listen, you're gonna want to tune in for Monday streams if you want stuff that's a little more chill. Monday streams are when I don't play horror games. So <laughs> if you want to come around again, uh, I'll be here Monday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take care of yourself. My left hand looks fine, so I guess this missing leg is fine, right? Yeah. I can't... It's very difficult for me to hold this down. Pour it on the ground. <laughs> Butts like a little bitch. <laughs> Hi, Sim. Everything's fine. much, but it's good for now. Save. How's the game? Um, <laughs> yeah, what Strix said. No, um, it's, it's very scary and stressful. And I am very scared and stressed. What happened to the lights? 
Did they get blown out? I think they did. Fudge sickles. Okay. Well, some of them are still on. That's good. Okay. Well, I can't get in there. What have you got? Dog tags? Nothing. Prison in here? Okay. I don't feel like I got much out of this, y'all. I'll be honest. Uh, this is our fourth formal request for a resupply of wine. The cellar is running low. I fear the reaction among the men and my fellow officers if we're forced to implement harsher, harsher rationing. I'm already fielding complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale, and morale runs on wine. My initial request was ten crates. So far, we have received two. Fixed it! Um, I'd never even heard of this game till you mentioned it. Really? Yeah, it, it just came out last week. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know where to go or what to do. I do have a locker code, so maybe we try that real quick. I'm just gonna walk around in the dark. I'm too scared to use the flashlight. locker. Delisle? Oh, okay, yes. Delisle's gonna help us move forward. Um, five, two, three, nine. Thank you, Delisle. I found a little bit, yeah. So fucking paranoid. Where are we at? Oh, it's gonna turn off. Oh no. Okay. I had so much time to begin with, and now I do not. to load the prison, I guess. Huh? No, I have... I have... Uh, I have everything. He's just... His pinky is just kind of... down like this. But he's got it. It's fine. Like, look at this. See? It's fine. Oh, God. No, oh God. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, four fingers and one thumb, if you want to be, <laughs> if you want to be silly about it. Um, yeah, it's time, it's time for an ad break, and just like a mental health break for me, because I am, <sighs> I am very tense. I do have an examine hand button, Sim, because that in this game is how you check your health. If I have blood on my hand, I'm not doing too well. So it's literally just like, am I okay? No? Okay. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Sheep. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, um, gotta do an ad break. So um, enjoy some clips if you're subbed, ads if you're not, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Oh. It's dark. I don't know what direction I'm going. Is this where I came from? 
Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? It's definitely like right there. It's gonna eat me. I'm gonna get eaten. I'm gonna get eaten. Oh! saved. Alright. Here we go. First try. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go to the prison. I want to go over here. We're just gonna do something different, okay? Use my flashlight. Goodbye. How did anybody survive this? This is genuinely fucking scary. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. I like this light. Please don't go away, light. Right? That's a good question, sheep. Oh. Did it set off a grenade? Haha, <laughs> dipshit! That was incredible. Oh, there's one here too. Okay. Good thing I didn't accidentally set that off. Jesus fuck. <gasps> fuel. Beautiful, beautiful fuel. And a picture. And a cloth. Nothing in there, but that's okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Is that in there? There's just a bottle there. I don't need a bottle. Hi, Zero! Okay. That is locked. Of course it is. Okay. Creakiest fucking doors in the world.
Good luck on, on your half marathon, Zero. We'll all be rooting for you. You'll have to tell us uh, how it went on Monday. This game is so much scarier than I thought it was going to be. Oh no, I'm sorry, Zero. Yeah, tell him snitches get stitches. Y'all, I'm having a hard time thinking of a game that I have played that is scarier than this. I am genuinely afraid. <laughs> I am very glad that hiding under a bed works, though. I learned that from being a child. Um, uh, no, it's not Capri Sun. It's, it's a go-go squeeze. Big! It's pear. It's like apple sauce. It's apple, pear, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's yummy. Because I eat like a toddler. I got a sandwich for lunch. Um, Yeah, at least this one doesn't have a sanity meter, for sure. Damn, that monster's skin is almost as bad as mine. Like, I know in my brain, right? I know that this is a, a game. It can't hurt me. But I'm so scared. I'm gonna level with y'all. <laughs> I'm so tense that during this last break, just like 10 minutes ago, whenever it was, I, I took a shot of vodka. <laughs> Because I was like, I can't handle this right now. I was like, so I gotta do something. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. <laughs> That's okay, gay idiot. It's okay. Yeah, if you die in the game, you die for real. Hey, Smokey. Welcome on in. How are you? <laughs> Everything's going fine here, as you can see. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll hold your hand. Oh, thank you. What if I wake up tomorrow morning and I'm still French? Uh, that's probably the best review of this game I've heard so far. So scary. It made me take a shot of vodka. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I gotta go now. Getting up at 1.40 a.m. Well, I'm sorry you have to wake up so early, Zero, but you got this, okay? We're all rooting for you. Run as best as you can. Yes, everyone, put your hands on the screen so we can all hold hands. I want to hold hands with all of you. Hold my hand, chat. I'm scared. Okay. What is that? Did y'all see that moving over there? What is that? Oh, it's just a reflection, I think.
Uh, no, germs. But fingy prints. Are you sure I've been picking my nose? Y'all are making it real hard to hold your hands. I should have picked up that goddamn bottle. Okay, here's the plan. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just light reflecting off of something here. Also, you're giving me secondhand anxiety. The president snuck up behind me and I yelled so loud that I made him cry. Oh no, poor baby. Is he okay? I love how half your body is sticking out from under the bed, but it still can't find you. <laughs> He's fine? Okay, good. Yeah, I definitely, like, the way that I am angled, there is, my bottom half is just out, and he's like, I don't like butts, and the monster just walks by. That's how you know it's a monster, because it doesn't like butts. Yeah, Sparkle, I should have told you that he was there. But, um, it was, it was funnier to make weird faces at you until you realized. <laughs> listen listen you watch me get scared on a regular basis on this stream I never get to watch you get scared I thought the small ghost children were coming for me <laughs> oh god in here. Where is it? Oh, it's gone. First of all, I just want to say a big old fuck you to whatever soldier unearthed this monster. Alright, there's a bed over there. No, no, no. You might just be roaming the halls. You should have heard me screaming like a baby last night while we played Demonologist. Uh, you really want to show me your pocket watch, huh? It's a, yeah, this is a flashlight. Um, I do have a pocket watch, though. Right here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did- I got home super late, Sparkle, or I would have joined y'all. I was just fucking exhausted. For being out in the sun at the pool yesterday. Baby threw up on Cromulent Gamer, did we win? I mean, no. And also, neither did Cromulent Gamer, clearly. Is he okay? Dumbass! Did y'all hear that? He did hit another grenade! This is perfect! I'm not gonna have to trip any of the grenades! This motherfucker is just gonna walk around the hallways and trip all the grenade traps for me! <laughs> he got a fresh coat of paint? That's lovely. I'm sure it was the wonderfulest baby puke color. That's gotta be the rats, right? Well, that's fucking gross. Okay. Okay, <laughs> not the reds. 
This is honestly a big brain play. What, hiding under the fucking beds? I, I think so. Kick them. <laughs> uh, I guess whoever set up those traps was actually pretty smart, right? Uh, dearest, thank you for the package. I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion. I'm keeping the photo close to my heart. It's been weeks now since I've been called for any combat action, but a new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night I woke with a chill. A strange sound was emanating from deeper in the bunker, a kind of moan, a cry, perhaps a howl. I went to investigate and found myself standing at the entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. I dared not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. Then a scrambling thudding came racing towards me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadows. I reached for my sidearm, ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He'd been awakened as well, but unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He says he saw something down there. As and we stood at that mall, listening, the howling, howling, howling grew distant, receded to where I dare not guess. Uh, perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there's something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please write me again soon. Love to you, Johannes. Why would you scare the shit out of your wife like that, bro? Oh, everything's fine over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's French, what are you doing? Ah, uh, yes, all those French soldiers with the transatlantic accent. It's my stream. I do the accents I want to do, and I want to do transatlantic because it's funny. Anyway. Like, why would you write this to your wife? Oh, dearest, thank you for the chocolates. Also, we might all die. There's a monster in the tunnels. Please send me more. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-oh. Um, uh-oh. I didn't do that. I think I hit a thing. I don't like it in here anymore. Uh, Neuer's been telling us of the tunnel texts describing what these tunnels were used for. Uh, but I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was there in the dark. I dreamt of it every, or I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real. When I wake, the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal, sex, blood, flesh. Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. Damn, okay. I know we all serve the same master to the same end, a place in her unending kingdom, immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled that make the the charnel pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and ecstasy and pitch black darkness. Damn, okay. Um, anyway, uh, you would love Emily on Good Mythical Morning. Oh, yeah? Uh, or are we talking about demonologist here honestly my biggest complaint is the ghost might take half an hour to give you the last piece of evidence and even then it might just not well that's dumb yeah find me a clip please oh she does a good transatlantic okay okay well That was fucking close. It's right there. I think it heard the grenade. Yep, there it is. Holy shit. Good thing the rats don't give two shits about me because I'm not a dead body. Okay, the smoke is dissipating. I'm gonna crawl under these beds back to that one room. I'm sorry. What did you just say, Gaiety? Papa John's has limited time Cool Ranch Doritos flavoring for pizza. 
How? Where? Where does the flavoring go? What part of the pizza is flavored like Cool Ranch Doritos? <laughs> the bread? Okay. Well, here's the here's the best part, Greg. Even Papa John still gets Papa John's. He's an awful person. Uh, but he ordered 40 pizzas in 30 days just to make sure that they were still making it up to quality. And he was not satisfied. And he let the whole internet know and nobody gave a shit. <laughs> right on the home? All right, let me see this. I'm so confused by this. Look at this fucking picture, y'all. Uh, I saw Cool Ranch Doritos Ranch, like the sauce ranch, not me having a stroke while typing. I was genuinely confused for a second there, so thank you for clarifying it. I want that as a gordita shell. I mean, they used to do that. Didn't they get rid of the Cool Ranch Dorito shells at Taco Bell? Well, yes, but also the they had the the cheesy gordita crunch. You can you can still get it with the nacho cheese hard tacos, but I don't think they have the Cool Ranch ones anymore. You want the floppy one? Okay, you want so you want the floppy one to be flavored. Okay, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay. Well, here you go. It's a uh, Papadias, whatever the fuck that is. I'm going to I'm going to look into this. Uh, I'll click on this. It's $8 limited time. It's a it's a, it's a Papadia, so it's not a pizza. It's like a flatbread. And you can get chicken, steak, beef, or create your own. Gonna go get food. Talk to you later. Probably not a papadilla. Okay, bye, Gaiety. <laughs> Thank you for uh, sharing this with us. I appreciate it. Um. Anyway. Papa John's does suck. You're correct. Yelp just sent me an ad. Hey, get your lawn into top shape. We got the best landscapers. Bro, I don't have a lawn. I live in an apartment. You never said, did that nice mailman fix your lock? He did, yes. That is the only one of our adult problems that has actually been fixed. Um, the fridge has not been replaced because um, the one that we were supposed to get was too big for the space. And the people who came to deliver it did not come with enough people to deliver it. Because it was heavy. I feel like they should have known, but you know, whatever. Um, so we're working on getting another one that will fit. Um, and the air conditioning went out four times last week. So we are genuinely considering hooking up the pipe to a hose to just drain into a bucket that we empty for the entirety of summer. Because it's not a problem after August. But it's been a ridiculous couple of weeks with the AC. Oh, you're sending me videos. Okay, I will look at these later. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, Lois sells those nice five gallon buckets for cheap. Yeah, that's probably what we'll uh, check out. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's 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 been interesting. But I mean, our our fridge still works. It's the freezer that's not freezing things. It's keeping them cold. It's just not freezing them. It's like we have a side by side fridge. Um, so it's fine. We didn't have anything in there that was like ice cream that turned into soup after I already ate my soup ice cream. So the stuff that's in there is just slightly less frozen. We'll we'll live. We don't have any meat in there or anything. Tried making my own pizza from scratch, make my own dough. It did not work out well. My dough was too sticky and it got stuck to stuff and ripped in the end. It was more like a calzone if you smashed your face into it first. All right. I'm glad it was good, yeah. Yeah, dough is a, it's a process. So. I don't know, I don't make my own pizza. Is this game not on Twitch? Your title is weird. What? What are you talking about? Like the category or what? Okay, yeah, refresh. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I know where I am now. There was no game picture. Oh, okay. Alright, I see the door. I'm... Apologize in advance. Oops. Hi, rats. What? Why are you following me around, you fucking weirdos? Leave me alone! They're following me! I'm grabbing this bottle. Hey! Don't you touch me! I will come for you. Ow! Are you kidding me? Rude! Ow! How do I kick? I don't know how to do that. All I have is a fucking gun. I will shoot you. I will do it. Didn't they get a note that said they go after the wounded? They go after the, the dead. I don't know about the wounded. think we're gonna find out. I closed the door and I hid under the the desk so I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. Okay. I'm gonna go back. If I can remember how to do that, to where we came from. I 
I'm not. It might have been, QE. It might have been. The, that's mortar fire, Sparkle. The war is still happening. Fuck you, rat. Maybe that's what the meat is for. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I think this is the way out. But now I know there's fuel there. Are you shitting me? Just kill me, man. Prison? Seriously? All right, you know what? have to do all of that over again. I don't like the rats. I really don't. Um, no. That's cool. I can't change the difficulty. We may have to start over. And can I get a hot tub?
Hi. Was you sleeping? Did I wake you up? Well, Sim, it's either start over or quit, because that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm too anxious to keep playing on the current difficulty. Uh, the answer is no, you cannot change difficulty if you already started a playthrough of Amnesia the Bunker. If you're struggling with the difficulty or you actually want to make your escape even harder, you're either going to have to start a new game or soldier through. I'm gonna say it, I don't, I don't like that. Just from an accessibility standpoint, I feel like difficulty should be a thing that you can change in the middle of the game. I've played plenty of games where you can do that. Sometimes you don't know if it's gonna be too hard for you until you've started playing it. Like this. I don't think you should have to start the whole game over. But we will. I love you, Pen. Okay. She's done with me. I just, it's really the saving that's bothering me, and I don't think that's, uh... And can I get a hot tub? I don't think that's going to be better. I think this this is just the save system, but it's, like, it's ridiculously difficult if you get killed after you've done a bunch of stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can try it one more time, but... I don't, I don't think it's gonna be any easier. Okay. I don't think it'll do anything in the light. So I'm gonna start running when I can. All right, I saw there was fuel here. Yes, okay, and a cloth. So, that's something I missed last time. And there goes the lights. What all did I do uh, that I lost progress on, or just in the entirety of the game? How does he keep respawning up here? That's not fair. I can't either. It was behind me, if you were curious. Uh, I lost progress on. I found a thing of fuel. Uh, I found multiple notes. Um, yeah. I don't honestly. I don't remember because it's been so long. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna start over. And if it's still not easy, we may have to not finish this game. Um, my mental health is more important than a video game. And this game might just be too scary for me. And that's okay.
Experience the chilling atmosphere without the constant stress of death. Enjoy the horror, die less, and explore at your own pace. Okay, that'd be great. Amnesia games and my deteriorating mental health name a more iconic duo. <laughs> yeah. For real. Alright, uh, we're gonna speed run this, so let's have fun, everybody. We're queer! <laughs> Uh, is there something lower than easy? Maybe where the monster is actually a misunderstood gentle giant? That'd be nice. Yeah. Still bad at doors, if you were curious. Oh, more bullets. Okay. I did not get any of these last time. Uh, yeah, you gotta do everything. <laughs> I believe in you, Sparkle. You can do it. You're a crack shot, especially with the 1900s revolver, right? It's all that shooting Nazis. Smooch the boo boo, it's not all better. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, buddy. Where are you? Okay. It is so fast, fast. We'll die on you. Okay, this time we're not gonna let our boyfriend die. Just follow me. We're nearly there. Roll, my friend. There you have it. You don't. 
Why don't you think I can save him? It's not like it's scripted or anything that he dies. I'm just gonna run faster this time and the Germans won't get us. I'll make a note to talk about your saving complex in your next therapy session. Cool. What am I drinking? Water? It's me. Here. You're gonna be fine. Then I'm going to get you out of here. Bud. I'll get you back to safety. Just hold on to me. All right, here we go. We can do it. Everything's going to be fine. Damn it! Really thought I could do it that time. I've seen this coming. <laughs> uh, I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Mm, all right. Got it. Yep. F. Uh huh. Yep. I understand. You're retreating to the bunker in your basement. <laughs> could get the bullets and beat the system, but no. Apparently not. Damn. Alright. Did I get fuel? I feel like I got fuel earlier last time, but I don't remember. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Oh, right. Um... Gotta, gotta put the bullets in the gun first. 
really helps. Okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, I had fuel last time. Damn. Or did I find it in here? I found it in here. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So... It's different. Five, six, one, nine. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand. Thank you. Why? And I have more inventory slots. Uh, in ten seconds, Sparkle. This is yeah. I think easier was the play here. I think this will be better. I'm uh, I'm sorry if I came off a little grumpy, y'all. Um, I'm just very anxious because of this game right now, but I'm feeling better, uh, about easy mode, so hopefully, hopefully this will be good. I don't know, I always, I always worry that I am coming off grumpy when I don't feel good, but maybe that's just, you know, being a millennial. You were being honest about your feelings and we can appreciate that. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. All of you. Um, and if you don't, if you don't appreciate that, get fucked. I feel better that you feel better. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we're taking an ad break. I'll take some, some breathing time. I'll do some breathing exercises and we'll be back and we will play this game. So enjoy some clips if you're subbed, ads if you're not. Let's uh, fill this up. Six one nine. Yeah, be careful and shit. Um, fuel. Oh, I didn't get this last time. What's this? 
More fuel. Okay. Where? Oh, I see. Things are in different places. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, note. Near dog tags. A Claire. 3277. more than one. Yes, I got one. Okay, that's fine. Um, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, let's unlock these doors. I wonder if people are speedrunning this game. That's gotta be fucking terrifying. Like, no thanks. I'm good. This is not gonna work. Uh -huh. Yep, thank you. some things. Move this out of the way. Here. Um, so that can be opened. Um, excuse me, was that your locker? No. Maybe no, it was not. You know, it's good you started again. I missed a lot when House Speaker threw up. Then my cat did not did not long after. So this is basically a fresh playthrough for me. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, note. All right, I gotta look inside drawers and shit. Uh, bottle. over here making the most noise. Come out here, do my flashlight again. Alright, looking for traps. We're gonna do this. No, oh, come on. Perfect. Okay. There's just fucking gas there now. That wasn't there last time. Oh, oh god. Okay, good night, Zero. Uh, note, cloth, bandage. space. Okay. Um, that's locked. Oh boy, okay. Um, it's still a problem. Uh, grab that, grab that. 
fuel. Note. Nothing else. Uh, is there anything in there? Oh, there is. I can't grab it, but it's there. I gotta make a note to like check inside of these things. Okay. Good to know. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open Blanchett's thing, and then we're gonna run. Um, you know what? I'm trying to try to multitask. Okay. Bottles, a big fuck off first aid kit. Um, the flare. Actually, let's keep the flare and get rid of the cloth right now. I'm running out of the cloth. Um, how are we doing here? Uh, not quite fill it up time. So. Put you in here and we'll get you out in a minute. Uh, save. Alright, he's probably gone now, so we can go check out that place. Do my light. One second. Shippo has decided that he is a naughty dog. And any time he is left unsupervised, if there is anything that even smells like food, he's going to get into it. So he, I felt a vibration of something hitting the floor in the living room. He knocked a plate off the coffee table and was licking off of it. And the other day, he got into the trash can. He has never done that before. He got into the fucking trash can, knocked the whole thing over, ripped a bunch of stuff out of it, and was just going to town. So. <sighs> That's cool. That's real cool. So I'm leaving my door open. Because uh, he tends to be less of a bad boy if he knows somebody is watching. Um... The inventory looking good. I'm gonna re up the flashlight and then we'll set off the second trap. Okay, um, there's a desk in there, so here we go. <laughs> Note. You all. The dog tag here, right? Dog tag. Nothing? Shit.
Was I wrong? Oh, it's here. It's you, Delisle. Five two five seven. Ugh, don't look at me like that, bro. Okay. I know I don't have to, but just to feel safe. Oh, I can make a Molotov with the things. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um. <clears throat> How are we doing? Okay, not enough for two, but enough for one. No, Shippo doesn't need to potty. He's just being a naughty boy. Sorry, what was the code? Delisle? Oh, it shows you when you've used them. 5257. Okay. Nothing else, just this? Okay. Okay. So, we're already on track better than last time. Since I knew where everything was, we didn't waste a whole shitload of fuel. Which means, hopefully, this won't be as terrible. So. These are open. I'm gonna save. And then we will try this again. I don't have meat this time. But, uh, hopefully it won't be super dark in there, and I won't be injured, so maybe the rats will leave me alone. Who knows? But yeah, we've got a very good start. Look at that. We are almost full up on time. I have lots of room in my inventory. Wait, what do I have? Oh, it's a grenade. Okay. Okay. You all. That's not open. Okay, buddy. We are fucking gaming! And that didn't take us very long at all to catch back up to where we were. There are traps. I need to be aware of said traps. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. Um, there's nothing I can do about this. Okay. Wasn't ideal, but it's fine. Can't get in here. Staying in the light. Okay, fuel. I don't need a bottle. What is that? A stick! Okay. Got a photo. Bullets. 
I know where you can put that stick. Up the monster's butt. Because I'd love to. And then light it? Okay. Okay. Everything's great, but my inventory's full, so we're gonna sprint back. For funsies, let's make a Molotov. Actually, what? Torch? Ooh. Let's make a torch. Okay. Um, how are we doing on the stuff? Not quite enough for me to do anything with it yet, so that's cool. All right, so I've got lots of stuff. This can be used as a distraction. This can be used uh, if I'm angry. And this can be used to scare off stupid fucking rats, which is good. Okay. Is that a cloth right there? Right fucking there? Didn't even notice. All right, let's go. We're gonna go into the rat room. And I will use the torch if I fucking need to. looked at the map. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Rat room time! By the time I finish eating my pizza and boneless barbecue wings, you are back to where I left you. Well, great! the trap. That's the one I activated last time accidentally. Um, uh oh. Okay. I'm in the light. The rats aren't even there. Maybe they're randomized too? I don't have room. Can I drop something? Yes. Fuel is more important than a piece of cloth. Okay. That's locked. Okay, we're going back and I'm gonna read some of these notes because I know I haven't found all of these yet. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe there's less rats on easy. That makes sense too. My pizza was boneless, too, if you were wondering. I was. Thank you for clarifying. Okay. We are 
fill up again. Let me drop some things off. going into the soldiers' quarters. Why isn't it? Uh, do I have to, like, actually get the map there? I think I do. I can't get into that room right now. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Notes. Yes. Okay. So I have seen that one. ID tags. Yes. Don't light shit. How to get out of here. Me. Roman tunnels. Uh, night. Strange scratching sounds a few moments ago, and now it sounds like someone is pacing in the hallway. Probably Reynard. Drunk on the stash of wine I know he hides from us. Best I confront him now. Either get him into bed. Hey to sleep it off or convince him to share a bottle or two with me. Literally the next day, cold fear runs through all our veins now. Fournier has terrorized the men for answers. They say they were asleep until Reynard screams. I believe them, of course. Fournier went so far as to accuse prisoner 73014 of escaping his cell and committing murder. Impossible. I worry about Fournier. His rage hides fear. He takes it out on the men, and I can see no way to stop it. It breeds contempt. My mind slips back to the moment Reynard started screaming. How easily it could have been me. How easily it still could be. For the first time, I wish the order to attack would come. I would rather face a thousand German guns than this nameless dread. That makes sense. Um, LaRue? Uh, I am now putting into writing what I have... Oh, no, this was... Yeah, we, we read this one. Hi, bad boy. Yes, please sit there where I can keep an eye on you. That one we've read. Did I miss one? Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, where's our wine? That's the dearest. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes they are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack. As if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We're always expecting attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity would liven the place up. It'd certainly help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them, of course, but the truth is those texts are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. This morning, Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a time, but considered him one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I've been going over the texts and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latinate at least, but what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. The texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated, to cross into the darkness beyond, and then something about sight. Haven't slept and need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed to access what they thought was some other world. One dominated by darkness and ruled by, I don't know. They use words I can't translate. Ruled by something. They claim that the dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and the sickly rattle of souls near death. That is what they were using the tunnels for. For them, it was a doorway to some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, sadistic spirits, the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then, but then I'm back at this. Attention! The power in this part of the facility is daisy-chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain, the subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, like when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly to Reynard. Okay. Uh, clearly they did, yes. Sheep is very good at translation. Um, okay, so... 
I need to figure out if there's anything else I can do down there. Don't know how to get in here. But I need to. I could maybe go around from this side, but I can't get into these doors either. Oh, the rats are there now. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Amazing. No other door here. I can't get in there. But I can see the switch. This is a new room. Okay. So that's a no. Alright. Okay, well it's light in here. A little bit. Okay, we're keeping an eye out for traps. This is interesting. Damn, okay. you like a general gameplay tip or do you want to explore a bit? I will take any help I can get in this game. Did I pick something up and then not fucking read it again? I've gotten so used to this. Hold on. Fournier claims one of us killed Reynard, but I saw Reynard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. We all hated Reynard, but none of us could have done this. War is brutality, but it is anonymous. Mechanized, we fire at distant soldiers. Whoever did this, it was intimate. It was sadistic. I fear for all of us. Okay, this was the door I wanted in. Fuel, thank you. Cloth, photo, okay. 9th of July, night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. Oh, that is a good point, QE. Thank you. Or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do something. I go. It's not a lot of information. Damn it. Here's what we're gonna do. Because my inventory's full again. <laughs> and I think I've looked at everything in that room. We'll go back, drop some shit off, save. This way I'm not losing massive amounts of progress. 
And I got a lock code, so we need to check that out real quick, too. I'm gonna run out of room in my storage. Goodness. Uh, save. Uh, you know what? Let's check out the locker and then we'll save. Uh, who was it? Two, three, five, two. I didn't look at the fucking name. Clement. That's me. Didn't remember my own thing. I guess I really do have amnesia. It's me and my boyfriend! I like how they wrote Henri and Lambert on there in case you weren't sure if this was Henri. Uh, loving this loot goblin gameplay over the overwhelming terror of the other difficulty. Right? This is so much better. Oh my god. What's that? Oh, nothing important. Okay. 8th of July, mid-afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> No, Augustin doesn't have a chance, because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, <laughs> or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid, <laughs> well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line. Them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustin's having a simply marvelous time. Out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July. Time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustin's bunk is... empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if... as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if... All hope was lost. Now the shelling is starting again. Uh, we'll try to sleep. 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold. And neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. It was nothing! A joke! I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought... I, I never thought... And therein lies my sin. Okay, so this is what he was talking about in like... This one? Yeah, the... Do they suspect it? God knows what I've done. So he... He fucked over Augustine. 
in that game of chance and basically send him to his death. Survivor's guilt! Okay. Um, Google says dropped items do not despawn, so even if your chest fills up, you can still safely leave stuff on the floor in the safe room, FYI. Amazing! Thank you, QE. I very much appreciate that. Um, oh, what's in here? Bullets. Alright. Uh, dropped meat will get eaten by rats, and I guess bottles and grenades can roll around. That's valid. Cats also roll around on the floor if you leave them there. Yeah, sometimes. Um, okay, how are we doing? We're doing okay here. So I'm gonna save, because I remembered that I wanted to save. And then we will go, and I will try to break open that door and get the fucking map. Okay, so maybe not. I don't think that was heavy enough. Um, but there is a brick at the end of this hallway, so. Maybe I can grab that and bring it back and smash it open. Is it playing a record? It's very eerie. I'm not into it. <laughs> yes. With the capital. Ugh. gross. mom. Alright, so clearly we have to break that and then, like, sprint away. Good to know. That's- and that is why you should not break doors. Okay, here we go. Jarring loading gets me every time. Be careful. Oh. 
Run! <laughs> Thank you. That was scary. Oh, this is like a little peekaboo window. Let's see if he's out there. Looks like there's always a quieter way to get into rooms, but they're a little trickier to figure out. Okay. Smashing is faster. I just wanted the map. That's what I wanted. Alright, let's save. So now if he kills me, it's fine. We got the door open. Love sticks. Well, odd occurrences last night. Serge SDT? That's not Sergeant, is it? I don't know. Lambert, thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him Serge Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. This is me. I was wounded in an explosion. Lambert reports the following. That midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Um, oh, Lambert is... Oh, that's my boyfriend. Um, Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. We did that. That happened. They were spotted in the ensuing attack. Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. But I was carrying Lambert. How did he carry me? Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and he ended up saving the man who came to save him. That is really weird, because he was injured. What happened to Lambert? Battlefield luck is an odd thing, and every life fates winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol to investigate and make sure we have not opened up a back door in our own bunker. Yeah! Did we grab water from that, like, crater? Is that what happened? And then we turned him- did we turn- is the monster Lambert?! Are we fighting our own boyfriend? Oh my god. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so this was our like barracks, so those were our beds. All right. Interesting. Thing in here. No. There we go. Alright, so I'm in the clerk's office. There's barracks A and B. I can't get into communications right now. But I think I can get into this back area now. Uh huh. Yeah, because I can go through Barracks B to get. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, just out of curiosity, I hate seeing couples argue. Me too. Just out of curiosity, uh, Hella, you said there are always ways to get in uh, to the doors, but smashing is faster, which I believe you, 100%. Here's my question. How could we have gotten in here without smashing the door? Because there's no other way to get in here. Or is that one that you have to smash? Smash, pass. I don't like that it's just following me around. I'm busy, bro. enough fuel. I'm not sure. I also have a stick. Uh, could have more? Yeah. If this walkthrough is to be believed there was a key? Ah, keys are for suckers. Do I have to have something that requires a lighter? Why do I even fucking have this? Useless, I don't have a lighter. Maybe I get that later. Balls. Um, okay, so. Let's make a Molotov for funsies. Yeah, maybe I'll make like a pile of... Oh, another grenade. No, no, I want to drop. Yeah, perfect! You see what I'm doing? What if you want to do a fuel fight with your fellow soldiers? <laughs> like in fucking Zoolander? Perfectly placed shelf. Amazing. Wonderful. Okay. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Way to go, butt spot. Way to go. have been but 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 you are correct oh hey I don't have a lighter so great I have an idea <laughs> it's not a smart idea but it's an idea Yo, 
yeah, Molotov would have been a way better choice. I'm I'm kind of a dingus. Did I blow out the lights? I might have blown out the fucking lights. It was not a smart idea. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, no, I didn't blow out the lights. Oh, shit. Okay. We saved. Now is prime fuck around hour. You're correct. It is. Uh, it's also time for an ad break. Do, 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 do. Uh, so enjoy some clips if you're subbed, ads if you're not. And we'll be right back. What uh, what did you drink? Did you drink uh, uh, your little green tea drink thingy? For a second I thought you said you drank blood and you want cuddles, which is the vibe. That's just like every vampire ever. Yeah, three of them? Nice. I still have yet to try that. I want to, though. You made it sound so good, and then they didn't have the stuff to make it at the bar, and I was sad. Where am I and what am I doing? Oh, right. I might have... Oh, you know, I think I blew the door open over here. Uh-oh. Uh, Moonlight Mead, their bomb. What's Moonlight Mead? What's that? Artists of Fermentation. Looking for our international award winning mead located in New Hampshire. Oh, they have such a cute little meadery. I would hang out there. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Go away. Get out of here. I don't want your advertisement. Look at this, y'all. Um, 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 um. Hold on. Look how pretty! Uh, like that one Austin one that I used to drink. Um, I know what you're talking about, but the name fell out of my brain. Hive? The hive? Because it had, like, bees on it, I think. Um, so I was t now years old when I learned that Ashley O, who is apparently a character on Black Mirror and not just a great queer pop one-hit wonder, is actually just Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Congrats, Kiwi. I'm proud of you. I, somehow I knew that, and I don't watch Black Mirror. Um, I would kill to get some meat in my belly right now. Well, there might be meateries in New York. Let's see. New York meadery. Royal meadery. That sounds fancy. Um, it's go. Yes, I'm over twenty-one years old. Hush. Royal Meadery uh, is in New York. There's also All Wise Meadery in Brooklyn, which is apparently available at select Whole Foods in Texas and Louisiana. So maybe I should look for it. Also, they have a picture of a dog on their website, which is great. Bee Spit! Bee Spit Meadery. That's a great name. Queen's Nectar. Y'all have a lot of meteries, dude. Uh, 
Why do they ask a yes or no question on the internet? Yeah, because no one lies. That's valid that you don't want to go outside, Hella. It's it's awful uh, in New York right now. Uh, you better so you better hope that shit clears up before you get there. <laughs> it's not good right now. It's orange. Yeah, they get the bees to spit right in your cup. I will say, um, I the first time I ever had mead, I was at a Renaissance fair, and the bees kept following me around, cause it, cause it smells sweet, and so they were like, "Oh, can I have some of this?" And I was like. It's it's mine. No. <laughs> uh yeah, Requiem, there are fires in Canada right now. And the air quality in a particular area of Canada has seeped into New York. So New York is covered in, like, smoke and it's orange outside. I can't tell if that's the monster or the rats. Want to see Broadway show? Oh, okay. Uh, New Hampshire's also got it, but we don't have crazy bad air like NYC, so it's pretty much gone now. Well, that's good. You got the Canada smoke in Montana? Uh, okay. I still don't trust the rain yet. That's valid. Okay. Here we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I do think I blew out some lights here. I also broke open this door, which is perfect. Um, I'm just gonna walk right by the rats and pretend they don't exist. Shit. Okay, everything's fine. Sweeney Todd, nice. Uh, it's been raining nonstop today, so we'll see how tomorrow is. Um, sleepless, something keeps scratching at the walls. Uh, I've heard rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle arrhythmic scratch of a rodent, it's louder, steadier. Francois has gone four times now to find the source, and each time returned with no answers, perturbed. The men like me, who were here during the Roman Tunnel incident, we share skittish looks. We dare not say anything for fear of reprimand, but we don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Something just howled. Not something outside the barracks. Something in here with us, like before. It's like before, but the tunnels are still sealed. They're still sealed, but it wasn't enough. All my brothers court-martialed and gone, and it still wasn't enough. And can I get a hot tub? I mean, hot tub. Uh, a demon from the tunnels is among us. It killed Renard. It will kill all of us unless... Hydrate or dehydrate, cheers. Here, actually, let me drink this, um, these warm beers in the hot tub. Delicious. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, how dare you. Uh, for LaRue, for Toussaint, for Noyer, for Nicolet, for Ozan, for no Renard, 
I will kill it myself. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded. My will is strong. Okay. Well, I hate to tell you, buddy, but you fucking died in a cabinet. <laughs> uh, you might have to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter because you can't hear me, but you should refresh. You should refresh, Requiem. Uh, the only thing I've ever seen on Broadway is the light in the piazza, and it made me cry. I've never even heard of that. I don't think it's on Broadway, because it's not a musical. But there's a show that I really want to see called The Play That Goes Wrong. <gasps> It's a play where they make it look like a bunch of stuff is, is going wrong, but there's actually a lot of, like, preparation and talent that goes into making it look like things are going wrong. Like, people are getting smacked by doors and passing out, and uh, props are, like, falling and sets are falling over. It's it's so good. I've, I see clips of it on I TikTok all the time, and I really want to go see it. It's in London right now. So, you know, maybe I'll just go to London. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Looks like we got something over here that I can go through. Nice that the creepy music is still playing. screwdriver or something. Uh, I have tickets for six when it comes to Cleveland at the end of the summer that I'm excited for. Oh my goodness! Six is coming to Austin I think next year and I'm so excited. Six is um, a monkey wrench. Six is about I want to say King Henry VIII's wives, like all of his wives. Yeah! Okay. I'm glad I was right. Yeah, it's. I've heard really good things about it. Get Bethany to London fund. I've been there once before and I had a really good time. I'd love to go again. There's pubs on every fucking corner. It's great. You can just, you, you can truly be smashed the whole time you're there. That's a trap. Can I jump over the traps? I probably can't. There's meat, though. <coughs> I'll try. Can't you just throw a rock at the trap or something? Oh, that's a good point. Thank you, Kiwi! You'll never find me in here. Not ever. Oh fuck, he's like right there. We so close! I don't 
don't think he sees me. <sighs> and he's gone. Okay. Gonna be real quiet. Wait, I haven't seen him yet. Go say hi. Trust me, he's terrifying, okay? I got killed fully in the light one time, even though supposedly he doesn't like light. And, uh... Oh, is that some meat? Perfect. Did that just... Oh, I guess the toxic gas is gone. Um, and he's, he's real creepy, that's for sure. Give me some more meat. Was that really it? That was all for some meat and a cloth? Some bottles. What's that? Scissors. Damn. Okay. Well, you know, meat is good. Uh, oh, fuel. Oh, I don't have room. I'll drop a cloth. I don't need it. Fuel is more important, even though I'm pretty sure I have a bajillion fuel. Oh no, it's getting pretty low. Okay. Um. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back out this way. And fill the thing back up. Ask him who does his makeup and hair. You know, it's a, I'm very curious, honestly. Okay. So I'm starting to realize something. Um, whenever he's in the vicinity, the lights flicker. So that's how you know that he's gone the lights stop flickering and that's how you know he's there the lights start flickering okay uh fuel <laughs> maybe I do too to sleep my eyelids are starting to become unheavy so I need to sleep while they're still heavy <laughs> have a good night and a great rest of your stream thank you so thanks for hanging out I hope you have a good night and a wonderful sleep okay I think if I do one more it'll be full up Distract the rats. Uh, where am I going? What am I trying to accomplish here? So that was the pantry and mess hall in the kitchen. So yeah, I need to get past the rats to get into the utility room. Oh, but I can just go through that door and not even deal with the rats. <gasps> I wish I had known that. That's fine. I needed room in my inventory anyway. It's fine. Okay. One more save, and here we go. <sighs> Frozen hot chocolate. I don't understand. That seems like an oxymoron. How can something be frozen and hot at the same time? I gotta say, y'all, the easier difficulty is is way better. Like, I'm still scared, but I feel like I can actually accomplish things now. And that's good. Okay, so there shouldn't be rats here.
It's okay. to shoot that open, aren't I? Oh my god. The bottles are the worst. They make so much fucking noise. Okay. Balls. Yeah, okay. WPG, I think those are uh, Lama's breaths. I'm I'm not giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them, even Jobert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it's on them. God will punish them for what they've done. I wondered if that's what happened when that guy talked about blowing the exit. Oh. I can save in here. Okay. Inventory is full, so I think we go back one more time, we come down, we open the thing. Oh. That is the faster way, but it's not the way I want to go. Who closed all these doors? Yes, Sim, we restarted, and the easier difficulty is much better. 
It is, it's butt smoother, it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's much nicer. Uh, it's still scary, but not to the point where, like, I don't feel like I can play the game anymore. And it doesn't feel as difficult, which is nice. And we've got a nice stock of fuel going. So I don't think the lights will go out anytime soon, which is nice. I'm feeling confident. So, we're going into communications, and that's where we can, I think, get a, a code or something. I think that's what it is. How are we on fuel? It could use some fuel. Um, put this away. feeling confident. Breaks into a mad dash <laughs> like a wild man. Yes. <laughs> All right. Save. Here we go. Going right into communications. confused. Was there a key in there that I didn't see? What did I miss? There's a door over here. I never went through here. Oh, because it's locked. That's why. Everything's locked. Oh my god. I need those right now. Um, is the wire connected to a switch in that other room? This wire? Yeah, I turned the switch on when I was in there, so it's on now. It was off. Is it supposed to open? into security while you're looking that up. Because we just saved, so let's fuck around and find out. There is a key? Okay.
This is gonna be fine. Breaks into security. Bro, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I might die! I might die! <laughs> I fucked around! I'm gonna find out! I got so lucky! What is that? Devra can't see shit. He just wanted to say hello. Woo! I am sweating. Oh my god. I just got so fucking lucky, y'all. That was incredible. Ooh, severe thunderstorm warning. Fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, we don't, we don't, we don't hack or lockpick in this game, uh, Sim. We just break shit. My friend, after the tunnel sabotage, they're increasing security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications. But between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. Kazal. This one. Okay, that's, that's B, I think. You just go in. And it's two over. Okay. Perfect. I accidentally did the right thing, y'all. Uh, shit. Which one is it from this side? Coming in from here, one, two, three on the right, okay. <gasps> Got it. dark. Okay. I'm just gonna look at the floor. I don't want to turn my flashlight on, but I think I have to. Okay, here we go. Ah. what SDT stands for. Uh, meow? <laughs> oh, she moved here. Eh. There you go. Um, I was there when they pulled your friend Noye from the tunnels. Sucking dick Thomas! Super duper time! I don't... <laughs> I don't think those are right. <laughs> Oh 
my god. I was there when they pulled your friend Noe from the tunnels. Uh, he's been screaming for hours before he was located. He tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I, about what is to be done. Let me know when. Uh, standard duty title or soldat. Okay. So private. Soldat. Okay. Well, we learned something. That's fine. Oh, no. I want to open that, but I'm going to have to shoot. And I don't want to. Oh, but we got a hidey spot. Full of fuel. Okay. It's dumb, but I'm going to try it. Barbara is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess and it burst from the shadows right behind Boisrond. But Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it, hit it dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now or we'll all suffer his fate. That begs the question, if I shoot it, will it retreat? And then maybe I can leave or go somewhere else? I'll consider that. Impressive how only one of the bullets fell out. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. To anyone left, the code is one, three, two, three. Okay. Thanks, bud. Here we go. Shoot and then hide. Easy peasy. Come on. You guys are being ridiculous talking about privates and duty. <laughs> See your butt. Uh, we have not named the creature. Do you have a suggestion? I have spoken to no one of what's written in those texts, I swear it. But now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that this might be coincidence, nor can, it, nor can it accept the alternative. I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them. Warn them. They've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw, and now Reynard has sent for me. I am sure to be punished for as well. Uh, we're stuck between the Germans in front of us, high command behind us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in the shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. I've been locked in Delphi's cells for the past two nights. Reynard's punishment for me speaking about the texts. Nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness, seductive, vo seductive darkness, voices there, welcoming me. I returned to my bunk and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nicolay, Farber, Hulebeck, Hulebeck, on and on. They're all hearing things, dreaming things. Nights are now spent in the grip of a fear that crawls up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue and me, none dare speak to the officers, not even to Javert. Uh, and worse, meow. raids are beginning again. I'm to go tomorrow night. Uh, back from the raid, can't sleep. Shells falling. The soles of my boots are worn thin. My feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there. I feel trapped. Last night, the entire barracks was awakened by the sounds from the tunnels. Nightly, they grow louder. When I slept, I dreamt of other worlds, of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning, we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this, for all our sakes. 
Uh, so you want to call him Sucking Dick Thomas? <laughs> Jim? Keep keep giving me suggestions. We'll, we'll figure something out. Okay, I need to save, because I have accomplished several things. Look at my fucking shadow. This man is basically walking around like this. <laughs> so stiff, buddy, so stiff. Technically, didn't we? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, we could call it Lambert. It's- we don't know for sure, WPG, but, uh, there's a note. I don't know who said it. Oh god, there's so many notes. Lambert. <laughs> Lambert, uh, our, our boyfriend. It's dog tags. Is it me? I don't think so. No. Patrol? Yes, this one. Okay. So the patrol report. So the first thing we did in this game was we saved Lambert. Lambert saved us in the trenches, and then we saved Lambert from, um, like, a crater. And he's like, I can't walk my leg. And so we threw him over our shoulder, and we were walking away, and got caught by the Germans in an explosion. And then we woke up here. So it turns out, this, that happened, I was injured in the explosion, and then Lambert carried me back, even though he couldn't do anything because his leg was injured. So now it's saying that ni he was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and he ended up saving me. So we think that it might be Lambert. So we can call it Lambert. I wonder what Lambert's first name is. Here's us together, by the way. Does me. Does my boyfriend. Okay. So there was a note from us. Oh, I think you're right. He must be the one that we fucked over. August, yeah, Augustine. We fucked him over and then we snuck out to go save him because we felt guilty. I think you're right, Augustine. All right, so we'll call him Augustine. Okay. 
Okay, so we're doing good on that. I'll polish. No? Close enough. Um, got a little bit of meat. I don't feel like I need both of these meats. Oh my god, I have so much shit. Um... <laughs> Out the other first aid and throw it down here. Oh, whoops. Did I lose one? Did I fuck myself? Uh, I did. That one disappeared. It's gone forever. Okay, cool. Well, we'll put it here then. I guess be wary when you drop shit sometimes. Uh, I can't believe we gave our boyfriend gamer juice and this happened. <laughs> oh, Gus! I like that! Yeah! Gus is perfect. Okay. This on our flashlight out. Let me save. And now what? We've got the code, right? One, three, two, three, to get into Arsenal. But we need the emergency lockdown lifted to get into Arsenal? Or did... Did we lift that already? Oh, we did when I opened those. I didn't even realize. But we needed the code anyway. It's fine. So now I have the code. That looks... Interesting. Okay, um... What? What? We're queer! <laughs> it has not been directly stated, but the way we were acting with Gus was... Like, it was pretty... Yeah. Oh, that is a trap right there. Oh, I almost walked right into that. We're queer! Uh, good question. Uh, those of you who've been looking at walkthroughs and, and whatnot, how far through the game would you say I am, like, percentage-wise? It Honestly, Sim, like, it really is. Now that I've turned down the difficulty and I can handle it, it's really cool. Like, <laughs> they've, they've done a lot of different things. They wanted to make it scarier, and they absolutely did. Because um, I think, and I was talking about this earlier, um, somebody asked me which one was my favorite amnesia, and having not played Machine for Pigs, I said Dark Descent was my favorite because it was scarier than Rebirth. I liked Rebirth. But, um, Dark Descent was very, like, scary and confusing. And this one seems to be going back to that, like, scary and confusing feeling. And the fact that they've updated it with, like, things that are intentionally, like, make it a little bit more difficult. Like, the reloading of the weapon takes time. The flashlight takes time to, um, you know wind or whatever uh the the health system i made fun of it but like it's actually really fucking neat like the whole having to look at your hand to see what your health is at kind of thing um and the save system while frustrating is pretty fucking neat so like i i do like this game a lot um it just was too difficult for me at first and so i'm glad that we we changed the difficulty before we were too far in um, I know what it reminds me of, Penumbra Overture, excuse me, Black Plague, uh, which makes sense since that would be by Frictional too. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe a third, if I had to guess. I'm not looking at a walkthrough, though. Oh, okay. Um, wait, you know what? Give me two seconds. I'm already paused, might as well, right? The Penumbra games are wild. A third seems correct. So I've done that. I think I've done this area. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven areas and an ending. One of those areas is the tutorial. So let's call it eight areas. No. Seven areas. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll call it six. And I've done Central Bunker and Soldier Quarters. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll probably end up finishing up pretty quickly here. Um, we've got one more ad break coming up soon in like five-ish minutes. So we'll do that, um, and then we'll probably, uh, wrap it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. From what I know so far, the ending's pretty fast, but getting through the tunnels is a bit long. Okay. Good to know. Those rats are dead. Looking out for traps. Oh, this is the code. 1323. Three. Yeah, I hear that thunderstorm. Maybe it's for the best we're wrapping up. Oh, this place is kind of large. Flare. I'm fine. I'll take the fuel, though. So much fuel. Oh, that's what I need, right? I gotta- is this a fucking maze? I'll look, more fuel. You know what? Yeah, I think- I think maybe I'll wrap it up. <laughs> Just because it takes so long to get back there and save. We'll start this area next time. Oh, what's this? Ah, damn it. Nothing. But at least we know we can go in here. Is there anything in that corner? No. The thunder is ridiculous. That rolled in quick. Where are we at? Alright, one more. This is just gonna be full of fuel. And I'm okay with that. Beautiful. 